Right, good afternoon everybody and uh, what I want to do today is to give you a little bit of an update in terms of what's been happening with our home loan area but also then give you um, some updates on some of the new changes that we've made with TMP. Since I came on board um, we've had a look at some of the um, IT platforms that TNP have been using and what I want to do today is give you some um, updates on some of the changes that we've made and some of the tools that you're now able to use in your business to actually make life a little bit easier so we'll work our way through that. So in terms of home loans we've now um, got just on we've got our 50th application in now to join TMP home loans so we're really excited and it's great to see um, a large number of people coming to join us. One of the things that we've been really getting advisors to focus on is that home loans is now becoming a really important part in the risk space as well because it's a very good way of helping to work with your customers holistically and, and getting people to understand that with some training and getting you up to speed you can work in that mortgage space very competently. Also home loans sits in that category 2 space so we all know um, as a category 2 product we just have to show competence and skill and by doing the, the training workshops that we've got in place with TMP we can get you up to speed in that competence and skill area nice and quickly. Also as part of the TMP home loan environment we've actually got a lot of systems and processes now in place to help you with your compliance and as part of the presentation that I'll show you we've been able to uh, incorporate some of that in, in today. So what I want to do is talk about our TNP Home Loan IT platform. So there's been some changes in this. The main thing is what we're trying to do is to get everybody, all our advisors, a good way of getting information because information in our businesses today is critical. If we get good, up-to-date information, we can help give our clients good advice and that's one of the key areas that we need to remember. So what we've done is we've, we've upgraded the website, we've got a client data and process system now in place so that can provide you with a lot more information around what your clients are doing. There's some work on business processes and systems, so again helping sure that you've got good processes in your business and that making sure that it's making it simple and easy for you to replicate so that it keeps the consistency with your client files especially. Also industry commentary, there's a lot of commentary whether it's coming from the Reserve Bank or economists, we want to be able to provide you with a portal to be able to get that information, get up to date and know exactly what's going on in the economy. So that again helps you with giving advice to your clients. We also have more information around our current product suite, obviously with, with insurance, home loans and wealth management. TMP carry a big supplier list, so what we're now trying to do is to keep more and more information about the suppliers' products so that you've got a place to go and get that information if you need to. So we'll talk a bit more about that. And then lastly, obviously, the TMP events area, calendar, what's going on and the services that we offer that you can tag into. We also want to make you aware of that. So, first of all, TMP's website. This has had an upgrade, um, went live about two months ago um, and gradually over that time now we've seen traffic to this website ramp up considerably. We've had about a 60% increase over the last four months so we're really seeing that a lot more members now are using it. Now the reason why they're using it is the bottom half of that website has two key areas. The two key areas are TMP News and also that little box at the bottom there. That box at the bottom now gets you access to a lot of the systems and services that TMP offer in the IT area. So you can go to one place, being our website, and then access a lot of that information off there. So there's a, a good place for you to just, to, if you're missing something or need some help or need some information, need to find Jeff's latest coffee break, then that's where you can go to, to, to get that. So again, use that website as a really good place for you to start looking for information that you need. So. Next one is client data and processes. So in terms of client data, this is now becoming more and more important, especially in the compliance space, because when we're handling client information and we're providing recommendations or advice, we actually need to be able to show how we got that, that, that level of advice, how we came to that conclusion, and also what we've actually provided the customer. So being able to handle client data now more efficiently is really important. Some people still have, have hung on to using a paper file or, or, or keeping their records in a paper file. The, the idea now is to transition that across into an environment that has a lot more functionality and able to use that data in a lot more in different ways. 
So what TMP have got, we've basically got three main areas here. The first one is X-Plan. Obviously, those that have larger businesses, X-Plan is a very, very par powerful database CRM system. A lot of people are using that. Um, it is being developed more now on the home loan side. It, it, it pr primarily has been an insurance-based product, but now obviously the home loan area is picking up in that, and there's some more releases to come around that. The second one is AdvisorBase. Now AdvisorBase is a software platform that TMP uses and what it's designed to do is to support you as an advisor if you're doing mortgages or insurance or both. And we'll talk about that in a second. The next one is the six step advice process. Now I'm wanting to make sure that everybody in our environment is using that advice based process. I know it's been a challenge for a lot of people to get these new systems and processes working in their business and working with the customer. But again, that six step advice process now has become part of what we need to do and make sure that we've got that successfully in place. So, TMPX plan. Off the bottom of our website, you now can gain access directly to the X-Plan environment. So if you're out and about using your iPad or your laptop, you can access your X-Plan environment straight off uh, the TMP main website. Makes the functionality and the ease of use um, really good. The next one is AdvisorBase. So AdvisorBase software, the main thing that we've got here is a software package that provides support for both mortgages and insurance. You enter the client details once and it's available on both sides of the equation. It allows you to upload, store information, take PDF scans of documentation and upload it to the website so that you're actually storing the data that you're using with your client so that it keeps you compliant. So it's a really good functional database system that you can implement in your business right now. So I'm asking you to have a think about it. What have you got? What are you using now in your business? And if you're thinking about doing something a little bit differently or more powerful, then that advisor-based software is a really good place for you to start. The platform links both home loans and the insurance piece together and that's one of the best parts about I see with the software is that you can deal with the same customer in both areas really well. It'll help manage the whole process between the two as well for you so you can actually keep track of that customer and the st stage of the process that they're working through. Web based. So it's all web based again, so you can get access to it wherever you are, as long as you've got a, a connection. One of the big parts we see here is a lot of people are using it on iPads now, so that they can actually take that out to the, their client appointments with them. So again, really functional and useful. It does focus on process. So just remember the idea of this is to try and make sure that you're actually following a good advice-based process. So the systems that are built into it will lead you along that advice-based process so that you're able to make sure that your file is compliant. Next one is managing the records and also with the risk area, underwriting information. So this software package will actually allow you to scan documentation up into the system and you can s store a lot of that underwriting information and manage that underwriting process. So it'll tell you how far through in the process that you are and which particular files you need to put some work into. And then lastly, the lender information and calculators. We've now got a lot of the lender from a home loan perspective, their criteria, their calculators are all now built into AdvisorBase, so you can go to one place and be able to see all of that information. So working backwards and forwards between your client information and the lender's requirements. So you're not going to be able to see this very clearly from way back there, but all I want to do is give you an example here. And the first one is disclosure document. And at the top there, what it means is that when you go into a client file in this, you can actually upload confirmation that you've received from the client that they've received your disclosure document. So it means that all you need to do is to scan that piece of documentation into the system, and that means that, that you're then compliant. Okay? Because one of the things, remember, we have to have a disclosure document that we give the client and then we must get confirmation from the client that we've actually given it to them and they understand it. So again what the system allows us to do is to scan that piece of confirmation into the system and now we're protected. And we can do that all the way through the whole transaction right the way to the bottom until you get to the point where the file becomes compliant, fully compliant. So again really good way of keeping that information that you need out of your file in a good safe place and making sure it's available for you in the future. Now, in terms of the six-step advice process, again, one of the big things we've been working on is the documentation around that advice process. So the new advisor disclosure document, I know everybody now is using the new one. If you're not or you haven't got it quite sorted, we have got a template there that you can get from us, and that will actually help you make sure that you are 
um, new disclosure document is compliant with the new set of rules. That's PDF writable, so you can actually get that off the system and, and use that straight away. The second one is the, the home loans fact find and application. What that actually allows us to do is to fill in a fact find with the customer from start to finish, complete a fact find, but once you've done the fact find, you've actually already completed the home loan application form. So you fill in the one document and you automatically have done your home loan component for that as well. So again, a really good document that a lot of people are now using and actually finding it that it takes out a whole lot of paperwork in terms of having to rewrite application forms out. So, But of course we do have the TMP home loan application and obviously that's compliant and can be used by all of our lenders that we work with. So if you're in the home loan space, we need to make sure that you're using that home loan application. If you haven't got one, you need some, let us know and we'll send some out to you. So the next one is business processes and systems. So this area here is understanding the intranet. So TMP have got a very, very good intranet. And this is what it looks like. And the only problem is that not many people in TMP actually use it. And the biggest problem is that you don't know your password or your login. All right. So one of the things we're encouraging people to do is to get their password, get their username and login, and actually have a look in here because there is a huge amount of information, especially if you look down the side here, a whole list of all different tools and um, forms and processes that you can use in your business to actually make it easier. So you don't have to go and reinvent a lot of this stuff because it's already there and it makes it nice and easy. So one of the things we want to do there is, hey, have a look at that intranet environment because it will really provide you with, with great opportunity there. Okay, so the next one we want to talk about is the industry commentary. Now this is a new innovation that TMP have done. First up is TMP News. So TMP News has a news part on its main site. So when you go to a main site now there's a section which is called News. And what that does, it'll take you to a, an area where all the product suppliers send up their latest information. There's the coffee breaks, historically they're all loaded up on there. And there's any other news or information that is supplied that we think would be um, something that you need to know about. So that's a really good place just to keep an eye on. And I'll show you something, a way to keep an eye on that even easier very shortly. The next one, obviously, is coffee break. Who gets coffee break? Great. And who likes it? Good. <laughs> Those that didn't put up their hand the second time, can you let us know what you'd like to have in it? So, and and uh, we'll certainly make sure that the topics are appropriate. What we're definitely doing now is move, moving more towards information coming through on those coffee breaks, just to give you some, some tips or some help of issues that, that we're seeing in the marketplace and that other advisors are having. So it's certainly been amazingly successful. We have about um, over I think 600 now that, um, that get to have a look at that clip every week. So it's certainly been a, a very successful uh, vehicle that we've used. And then lastly, advise, the advisor dashboard. Now this is the new innovation that we now have. This dashboard we're encouraging our advisors to use as your home page. Okay, so when you open up your web browser, the website that you need to go to is www.tnpnz forward slash dashboard. Now what this will give you is a live page that will continually be updated with information all the time. So what a lot of people are doing that we've got around the office now are using this as their main page when they open it up and it just sits on there for the, for the rest of the day. You can do your Google search, you can do everything that you normally do, but at the same time there's a whole lot of other information that's streamed through at the same time. First one is latest news. So what happens there, we've got four categories. So it's TMP news, so stuff that's coming out of our news platform is all the new stuff will appear there. We have the, the Herald business area. We have, um, what was the other one, good returns. So all those, those areas that feed us live information or information that comes from their sites, we'll now put up there. So that allows you just to keep an eye during the day of all the things that are going on and, and that are happening. Next one, interest rate. There's an interest rate monitor which sits in the middle of that page and what it allows you to do is to actually compare interest rates with different lenders. So we've got the major lenders all in there and what you can do is you compare, for example, ASB and Westpac on a two-year fixed rate and compare them over the last 10 years to see which one of those lenders has performed better than the other in terms of 
their um, aggressiveness in terms of how, how low their rate has been. So you can use that any time you like in comparing those rates. It's a really good way, especially in the interest rate environment we've got right now, just to help out and giving some advice about how, to, how and when to fix. So again, that's a good, good place to look. The latest news clips. So we've got some, uh, obviously the TMP coffee breaks will go on there, but from time to time there's also some um, interesting, funny or important um, clips that we get from the net. And we're also going to put those up there in that, um, in that area for you as well. Live financial data feeds. We're looking to develop this even further, so we're just working through this at the moment. But the first one we've got up there is exchange rates. Um, we're looking at um, a currency exchange, a currency um, option. We're looking at a share option as well, and we're also looking at the interest rate one for you as well. So what it means is there'll be a live feed of what's happening with interest rates or what's happening with um, exchange rates all the time, just to give you again a good place to get information. If there's anything else that you'd like on on that page, we can update that and put that in for you. So what we're trying to do is make this a really good place for you to go to and just keep up to date with. Now also at the bottom of that page we have the TMP support area. So again like I said on the main page of the TMP main page there was a box at the bottom that you could get access to all this information. We've actually added that area to the bottom of this dashboard page as well. One page you need to log into just means you're kept up to date and you've got all the information that you need um, to run your business. The other area that we're trying to work, work with around that also is the intranet, some of the documentation that, you, that we have in that area will also be available off this front page as well. So some of the system six step advice process, a lot of those written reports can be accessed off this main page as well. Okay. So again, there's the address. Really suggest that that becomes your home page, a really good place for you to just to keep an eye on during the day. If there's anything that you'd like to have added to it or any ideas you've got, we're certainly open to that and we'll certainly add that in where we can. So, in terms of the key, key messages from my presentation, what I wanted to say is ensure that you've got an efficient client database. That is one thing that I see in the marketplace right now really needs to be focused on making sure you've got good information that you can manipulate and making sure that it's giving you the outcomes that you need to be compliant. Compliance is really the key. So making sure under this new regulatory environment you're keeping that information safe and it's well protected. Get, your, get up to date with that information. Also use that advisor portal. I think that's an area that can certainly help um, in terms of the services that TMP can provide you. And also make sure that we're implementing those processes is the key. It's really good for us to be able to stand up here and say this is what we've got, but it's also really important for you to be able to implement them in your business. So if you need something as you head along down the track, especially in this space, please let us know. We certainly want to hear what you as our advisors are doing and what you need and what support you need, because if we know what you want, then we can provide it. So uh, it's certainly an approach that we want to keep pushing ahead with. Okay. So any questions or any comments? More than happy to... That. Yep. Uh, is that just uh, for home loan or for insurance as well? Insurance can use that as well. Okay. Absolutely. So, so both of both, our aim is to have that portal piece for both information so that you can get access to that. So you, you do the uh, fed fines through the system. Yep. And then they will write a report for you as well. Um, there, there is a re the report writing component. We've been very. Uh, careful on because a lot of people within their own businesses have a very individual way of doing their reports. So what we're trying to do is keep away from standardising that too much. But again, we can certainly help with a recommended approach to that. Absolutely. Yep. Um, yep. That? Sorry, what was that? Is there a fees on that? Uh, that that basically can, no. That's free. That's if, as long as you're a TMP member. In fact, you could actually get access to it if you weren't a TMP member. But the idea is that we're wanting to make it specific to our, our members. Yeah, there will be a password piece on all the intranet stuff. Um, there will definitely will work on that as just for members only. Yeah. So does that include um, like my advisors work in my practice? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much.